was good, yeah. Looks like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, it was. Uh, and uh, we had Willie Mandolino and Duffy uh, out there in the golf cart shooting these uh, golfers all day long. It, uh, it was a warm day, Bill. Yeah, it was warm, but it was uh, nice and sunny, no rain, uh, probably about 90 degrees, so not too bad. Not too bad at all, not too bad. Bill, let's, let's talk about some of these charities that, uh, that you are helping out. All right, Keith, well, as you know, we, uh, over the last 20 years, we've uh, given over $1 million to charities, and most of those charities involve children, and all of them are here in St. Louis. So. Our main uh, scope is on children's charities in the St. Louis area. This year, Keith, uh, God willing, we'll uh, pull in over $120,000 clear, and that's going to go to our two main beneficiaries, about half of that money. That's the ALS, Lou Gehrig disease, and also the St. Mary's Special School for Retarded Children. The other half goes to over 20 other St. Louis charities involving children. So it's a, it's a great cause. It's a lot of hard work, but it's well worth it. Uh, Guglielmo, Quito, Quito. It's Guglielmo, io, io sono Quito, Quito Valentino. Now, now we talked about the, uh, it's Quito, Bill. <laughs> Let's talk about these volunteers that put a lot of uh, hard work, time, effort, sweat into making sure that this thing runs right, runs smooth, right? I mean, it wouldn't be possible without all, all of these people. Well, that's true. I tell you, Keith, uh, a lot of it goes to the, uh, we have a great board, like I mentioned before, and they're all hard working, and they all bring a few people out to help, plus the charities come out, and they help, and uh, it's just, uh, we get support from throughout the St. Louis and it's just, it really is, it's uh, heartwarming. Now, now, for two days, you have a banquet on Sunday night, and then the golf tournament is, is on a Monday. Now, is there anything you might do different next year? Well, uh, this year, the banquet lasted, the, the program itself was just a little bit long, and I think the auction had something to do with that. And next year, what we're going to do is have a silent auction, so it doesn't take up time at the uh, verbal auction. We may uh, auction off one or two things, and uh, so the program's not so long. Uh, also, on Monday, we're going to have a morning session and an afternoon session. Uh, that way the play will quicken up and uh, it'll be a lot, lot more fun. And there are a lot of golfers that would prefer to play in the morning than in the afternoon. So the morning golfers would uh, play, tee off, do their thing, come in around 11, 11.30, have lunch, and uh, then go home or stick around. There's a lot of activities during the tournament that they can enjoy, maybe some bocce ball and a few other activities. And uh, then the afternoon golfers tee off at 12.30, and they come back in around 6, and we banquet and where they can meet the morning golfers. Now let me ask you this, you know, because this event is so big, so big, when do you begin working on this? When do you start having your meetings? Well, Keith, uh, we start basically the week after the tournament for the following year. And we meet about once a month for the first six months. And after the first six months, we uh, start meeting uh, every two or three weeks. And as we get closer to the tournament, we uh, more often. thing before we sign off here folks and get get into the other part of the show uh, bill as i said at the in the in the opening is um, president of metro lighting and it's people like bill frisella that make casa cucina possible and we can bring it to you in a, in a new show each week each week we have a new show it takes a lot of time and a lot of work a lot of energy and a lot of support from people like Bill to keep this thing going. For you folks out there that enjoy the program and everything, these are the guys, the people that you have to thank, the Dica Gorios, the Vivianos, the Mama Campisis, Richard LaRussos of LaRussos Cucina and Tutto Beni's restaurant, and uh, the, uh, the, the list goes on, Metro Lighting. Bill, Guillermo, 
Grazie. Ah, uh, prego, Kito. Thank you. You're a good man. A hard worker. I'm just trying to keep up with you. It keeps me that way, uh, Guillermo. Well, anyway, thank you, Bill. Thanks to the uh, St. Louis Italian Open Golf Tournament for Charities. Thank you, Willie Mandolino. And thank you, Murphy, our audio man. And uh, stay tuned. we got a great show for you here.